Fractions can be multiplied by other numbers. In this video, we will look at examples of multiplying unit fractions, or fractions with one in the numerator, by whole numbers. Let's start with an example. A recipe calls for one quarter cup of milk, but this recipe will feed five people. Suppose the recipe needs to be increased for 30 people. How much milk is needed for this scaled up recipe? Since one quarter cup is enough for five people, then for 30 people, the recipe will need six times as much milk. This results in this fraction expression, one fourth times six. In multiplying a fraction by a whole number, look for common factors in the denominator. We have a denominator of four and are multiplying by six. Since both of these numbers are even, we can factor out a two as shown here. We rewrite the denominator as two times two and the six as two times three. The twos that are highlighted divide out. We are left with three over two, which becomes one and a half. Let's look at another example. In this stack of identically shaped planks, each one is half an inch in height. What is the total height of the stack? How many more are needed to get a five inch stack? The height of five half inch thick planks is represented by this fraction statement. The product is five over two or two and a half but we want a stack that is five inches high, which means another stack of five because two and a half plus two and a half equals five. Let's look at a final example. At a pizza party, 12 pizzas cut into eight slices are available. At the end of the party, there were still 14 slices left. How many pizzas does this make up? There are 14 slices each making up one eighth of a whole pizza. So the total amount of pizza left is represented by this fraction statement, one eighth times 14. Look for common factors between eight and 14. Notice how a two divides out from each term. This leaves the improper fraction seven fourths. Written as a mixed number, we get one and three quarters.